Okay, this is a quick update on the DMX wireless uh, transmitter and receiver system that I, I've been working on. Essentially, this is a receiver and a transmitter board. Uh, this one is transmitting, this one's receiving. Essentially, they're the same board. The only difference is one of them has got a little jumper on here, the other one hasn't. And this is the only thing that actually defines whether it's a rec receiver or a transmitter. Uh, they will talk to each other over uh, 2.4 gigahertz wireless frequencies. Uh, they will manually, um, can be manually set. And I've got on here a little 16-way uh, switch which you can actually set the frequencies. It's a, a 1 of 15 frequencies on this one and a 1 of 15 frequencies on this one. As long as they match, these two will talk. If it's actually set to zero, which this one's set to zero and this one's set to zero, they will actually automatically pair. Uh, what I mean by that is, as soon as this one starts transmitting pairing information, this one will receive pairing information. They'll just sort of chit chat between themselves, organize, and then you'll have a completely unique uh, a wireless system going on here, which hopefully would be nothing to do with anything else. Um, this way you can also have lots of receivers pairing, so you can have like 20 of these receivers all paired up to one transmitter, which makes it very, very useful in the sort of lighting um, industry, um, as you've probably seen by lots of other products. Anyway, right, let's see it go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to plug this in here, little miniature jacks that I've been using. Okay, I'm going to switch this receiver on, and this receiver has automatically gone into a pairing mode, hence the flashing light. Yeah, it's kind of pulsating, that means it's, it's, it's waiting, it's waiting for information to come through. This one isn't on, so if I switch this one on, this will start to flash blue. You see, red is a receive, blue is a transmit. So as soon as it starts pulsating blue, it starts transmitting pairing. Ah, oh, this one's stopped, you see. Now this one is waiting. Now it's paired, it's actually waiting for DMX data to come through. And there we go. So this is t now telling me that DMX has now come through from this one to this one. Uh, so I've got a mixer here and I've got a light there so if I just push these faders up we'll get all the, the colours everything should work as expected. It's running at a, a frequency of uh, 25 Hertz on the DMX refresh. I'm going to look at possibly improving on that but it is doing all 512 channels uh, but like I said, you could probably configure this all up for separate universes, um, depending on what you wanted, because it's got up to 80, 82, 80, around about 80 different channels um, that actually can be, be used. I've also got another mode on this, that when it doesn't auto-pair, the transmitter will look at all the... All the frequencies that are, are, are currently being used by, by laptops and Wi-Fi systems and it will scan the whole Wi-Fi network and it will work out which particular frequency, which channel, has got the least amount of noise on it. And uh, Once it's ascertained that, it will actually start flashing this particular LED in a particular way uh, a number of times, just like 15 flashes will tell you channel 15. Uh, it sounds rather complex, but it's actually quite easy to, to do. And then once it's told you exactly what channel's good, you can then set these up. The way I've actually got it at the moment is that's already automatic within the pairing system. So it does a, does a clean channel scan first, pairs the units together, then this one tells this which channel it should go to. It tells all of them to tell tells all of them which one they should go to to listen to this one transmitted. So they should all be finding a clean channel. And that's the system, and it seems to work quite well. And I'm going to probably build some more receivers now, and hopefully, hopefully everything will be working in the next few days.